morning everybody I wanted to show you my Bible study notebook that I made and I am loving this and uh, this is something that you may want to do um, to just add to all the other activities that maybe you do with the Bible I took a big notebook <laughs> and I made Genesis Exodus Leviticus numbers and then I also numbered them like uh, four is the book of numbers and what I'm doing in this notebook is I'm doing a verse-by-verse -verse study of the entire Bible. So I can decide, like say, I any book of the Bible I want to go to, I could just pick up and say, I think I'm going to study in this right now. Or maybe I heard a good sermon or something and I want to study further on it. So everything is right there. And, um, you know, like I might study Galatians. And now this one I didn't write it, but it should have had like a one right there for the chapter and then I wrote the day that I did it in the verse by verse and see how I'm doing this so anytime I want to pick up the Bible I can just have my notes all together by going verse by verse and you can do this like every year or every other year as soon as you get through the whole Bible um, you can just start over again and, and uh, keep gleaning and learning more and more and more um, Today we're going to touch on, I wanted to do Colossians, just to kind of give you a run through. And I just started this book, because a lot of these are just the beginnings of the books. But as I go on, you know, it'll be a little bit more information. But uh, it's 53 Colossians 1, verse 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy as our brother. Now, what they did back then is they had big scrolls. So what they would do is they would write who it was from at the very beginning so he didn't have to unroll this great big scroll. And uh, Timothy was with them, so he included him. Sometimes they would have other people write. They would talk and have other people write. And so, but uh, here's the author of Colossians. And then I wrote, Paul is writing to Coloss. And then verse 2, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Coloss, Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, now anyone is a saint that has accepted Christ. God uh, calls us saints all through the you know, Bible. If you have accepted Christ, you are a saint. Okay, so then Paul blesses them. And that's also something that they used to do when, um, in that time when they would write letters. A lot of times they might leave a blessing, like kind of like a, you know, good nice little thing to them but of course this is the word of God and it means much more you know number three we give thanks to God and the father of our Lord Jesus Christ praying always for you and uh, you know a lot of times we don't thank God like we used to we need to you know especially as we're getting closer to the Lord's return we need to be thankful people Spend your time on Philippians 4, 8 and giving thanks and singing spiritual songs. We need to thank God constantly. And also, we need to start praying for the other saints and people in the Lord. I know with all the shortages and stuff, people have talked about, about that. Pray that all the Christians and the people, your neighbors, on Christians, Christians, that God would supply their needs and miraculously meet people's needs for His glory. And uh, we need to, you know, continue to pray as, you know, like I said, the Lord's soon return, we all hope. And uh, just keep playing for the kings and rulers and all those things that the Bible commands us to pray for. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. And maybe you might want to start a little notebook yourself. And don't worry if your thoughts, um, I mean, you want to compare scripture to scripture and you want your verses and everything to be right. But... You know, you could write a uh, scripture, but even if you don't want to expound on that, maybe you don't feel like, I don't really know if I want to expound on that. Just keep writing the Bible out and think about it. And then you'd have a, like another handy tool, and the next year you might write more. So you have a little bit today, if you want to start on class, you can write, Paul was the author, Timothy was with him. You know, if you're saved, you're a saint. You know, um, you could talk about thanks. But just go through your Bible, and like I said, if you don't have a comment, just write the verse out and go to the one that means something to you. Every day you want to touch God.
like the woman with the issue of blood. Um, I think it's in uh, Luke 6. There was tons of people around Jesus, but he only felt when she touched him. Every day you want to touch God and get, you know, have God's power working in you and God started to heal and move in her life. So every day you want to get closer and closer to him and you want to touch him. So you might read a verse and it might just really minister to you. And you can use concordances with Google. You've got Blue Bible. You've got Bible Hub. You've got Gateway. You can look up. Um, you can expound and, and like really do a big, big study where you can just quickly go through. I have lots of studies that I do. And I like, and this is like my... Um, time when I first get up in the morning and throughout the day. So at this at this particular study time, I'm not doing like a big, huge, going through like all the history and all that. It's like my first time going through the whole Bible. So I'm just writing what I feel like I want. I might expound more some days and less others. Um, but right now I'm just kind of going through of what verses mean and what God is speaking to me. But like I said, you can, you know, the sky's the limit. You, you know, you might want to go through the Bible slowly and expound on each scripture and get through it 10 years, or you might want to run do quick and do it every day and get through it like a layering effect, which is what I'm kind of doing right now. Like year after year, you just keep adding to it. So I hope this was a blessing to you. I hope you make a big notebook like this and start studying verse by verse. And, and also too, it's easier, I think, to memorize them when they mean more to you. And you know, let the Lord, Holy Spirit speak to you. I always pray that the Holy Spirit would train and teach me. So um, let me pray for you guys right now. Lord, I ask that you touch every single person who's listening to uh, this video. I ask that you would move in their life, touch them, draw them closer to you. If this is something they're supposed to do, you know, supply the paper, the notebooks, the pens, and give them and speak to their heart. And um, I just pray in the name of Jesus that you move among all of the people that watch this video. Touch everything that concerns them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.